Hi everybody, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna be talking about these top bars up here, these menus. So let's get started. Now I do have videos talking about the assets already, so I will cover this in a later video. But I have been covering all this, some all the way up to the timeline, so check that out if you guys are interested in that. Now I'm gonna go to game object, and I'm gonna talk about pretty much this stuff right here, just because all this is the same thing as if you right click and go right here same stuff so let's just get started with this first i'll click this car and i'll get a game object and you can see that we have all these right here now I'll toggle active state as you can see the hotkey is alt shift a and if i click it it just disables or enables the entire game object so shift alt and a as you can see it brings it back up so that's just a quick way of making your game object visible or not now we'll go back to game object there's move to view so or actually there's align view to select in. so this will align view to whatever i have selected so i have selected the car and if i click it as you can see it aligned me right inside the car so uh, it could be useful in some cases there's also a align with view so this will align any object i have selected with the view that i currently am so as you can see this is my view right here and if i click it as you can see the car actually moved with my entire view as you can see so now if i just go back control z to go back uh, to undo what i just did so if i go back to move to view it will move the car to the view instead of aligning the whole camera and everything it will just move the car so as you can see it moved it to where i was viewing so way down here now these are useful in some cases there's also if let's say we go to here and we click one of these bodies we could go to game object and they have set as last sibling or set as first sibling and as you can see you could put control plus equals or control plus minus either one so if i i click set as last sibling you can see that the hood is right here and if i go to set as last this goes to the last one and then same thing with the first if i put set as first i would just put it all the way up here there's also a clear parent so as you can see the parent is the car controller right now and if i clear parent it was car container my bad but if you clear it as you can see it, it is not the parent of this hood no more so this is another way if you want to quickly clear a parent or not now there's make parent so let's say i click both the hood and the body if i go to game object i could make a parent so it will make the second object I click, which was the body, it's going to make that into the parent. So you can see the body is the parent of uh, the hood. So that's another way you can do that. And then there's just center on children. So if I go here, now I'm not sure what this one is. So yeah, I'm not sure what the center on children is. So if anybody knows what that is, uh, leave a comment down below so everybody else can know and I can know as well. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, we're going to go, these components is pretty much the same as if I come here. Add component. If I go to XR, you can see it says track po uh, pose drive driver new input system. If I go here and go to XR, same thing. So I have covered all these in a previous video besides the XR. So if you guys want to see that, just check out my videos. Asset Store tools. Now this is just a package that I downloaded from the asset store uh, from unity themselves and this just allows you to upload packages uh, very easily not just packages but assets so if you wanted up like this car asset this was uploaded using this tool so you know if you guys want to know how to upload you know uh, assets whether it be you know music or uh, models or whatever like that just let me know and i'll show you how to use it uh, you would just pretty much download this from the unity asset store and then upload your package but like i said if you guys want to learn how to do that just let me know in the comments below and i'll show you guys how to upload packages now we're going to continue to window now window i have covered what a ui toolkit is but i'm going to show you just examples of what this does right here so if you go to samples you can see that there's different samples of what an inspector could look like or what a window and editor tool could look like a toolkit could look like so it's just different examples and then you could also check the code behind it so you can see that this is how you would write this code in c sharp if you want to use a uxml button you can see you could change it you could use a uss that would be how to style it and then the UXML, this is how you would be able to add an actual button. Uh, if you wanted to add it through C-sharp, you would add it like this. 
and then it, it just shows you pretty much everything. If you wanted to make a label, it's how you would do it with C sharp, it's how you would do it with UXML, and this is just some styling. Same thing with gradients. This is how you would make a gradient, C sharp. This is the UXML, and this would be the style. So the style of the actual font. As you can see that you could actually change the font. You could actually update this, and it pretty much shows you how this is done. So as you can see, there's like a new value right here. You could add new values. Yeah, this is just a way to, these are examples of how you could do it, and everything kind of functions. That way you could, you know, kind of see how it is how it is done and you could do it for yourself when making one of those uh, UI toolkits so like I said if you right click you go to create uh, you go to UI toolkit you could actually make it you could even make it here window UI toolkit and then actually never mind you do have to make it here so create UI toolkit you would make you could go to editor window and you could just make you can make a name so toolkit example and then confirm it hit enter like I did, creates it. You could also check this little checkbox right here that I didn't, and it will open the files once, you know, they have been created. I did make a video about this, so I'll show you guys that video up above, but pretty much this is what it made. It made these three files right here. So this one, this one, and this one. These were just another example, but yeah, it made these three files. And with those three files, you would be able to open them. And here's our window. So with this toolkit example, and with uh, these samples right here, you would be able to you know, make your own inspector just like this. And it shows you exactly how to make them right here, as you can see. And then there's also this little debugger. If I go to the debugger, now you can select anything right here. So let's say I want the scene hierarchy. I could come here, I could check all its little, all that it contains. So as you can see, you can even see the colors, the background colors, all that stuff. You could also pick an element. So if I click pick element, I could pick whatever I want. So let's say I pick the scene. Now we're in the scene view. There's also the ones we have just made. So here's toolkit example. So if I hit toolkit example, you can see that it's showing, well, it's kind of highlighting over here. Now for this to work, it has to actually be up so let's say i exit this one and i go back to uh, the debugger now as you can see you can't see it at all so for that to work the panel will have to be open for you to be able to actually debug it but yeah this is just a way to debug stuff real quick and then uh, let me see how much time we have okay so i'm gonna wrap it up here In the next video i'll talk about this ai also the navigation and uh pretty much everything else from this menu but next video for sure will be navigation and some of this analysis uh input debugger i am gui debugger the physics the frame debugger profiler so uh stay tuned for that next video if you guys enjoyed this video if you guys are liking the video so far hit that like button if you guys want to see more videos like this don't forget to hit that subscribe button and once again thank you guys